Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, what I'd like to talk about are some of the problems, difficulties, or issues that many people, especially beginner uh, COBOL programmers, experience when they misspecify the picture clauses or the pick clauses of their data items in the data division. And I'm going to try to show some of these errors and how to correct them uh, by doing some simple mathematical operations on some variables. So right now in the data division I'm going to go ahead and create two variables. I expect them to hold numeric values because um, you have a 9 right here in your pick clause. The second variable I'm just going to name number 2 and let's give it a results area to store the results. Now let's give them starting values. For number one, let's give it a value of five and initialize number two at fifteen and results. Let's go ahead and make sure that is zeroed out at the very beginning. So let me compile that, make sure everything's okay, and we see zero total compile time errors. So in the procedure division, let's actually do something. Let's do some compute statements. Compute results equals number one. And let's display that result out. Okay, so that's simple addition. Let's copy and paste. So we can also do, let's do subtraction as well as division. Okay. Now, once we compile this, we see no errors, we can actually run it. So what we would expect to see are three statements in the output saying results of addition. Now what will we expect results to be at this point? Well, Number one has a value of five. Number two has a value of fifteen. So those added together, of course, would be twenty. The results of subtraction, we would five minus fifteen, we'd expect to be negative ten stored in results. And then for division, five divided by fifteen is going to be something less than one, less than a whole number. So we're talking about decimals. So if we were to run this, go to browse, example two. Click OK. We see the output. We do see 20, but we were expecting to see negative 10 instead of 10. If we look here in the data division, we have misspecified our pick clause for the results. And because we do not have an S out here in front of the 9, the COBOL program is essentially saying that it doesn't, it's not keeping track of, of negative or positive or the sign, period. So if we expect it ever to be something other than positive, rather specifically negative, we must have an S here in the pit clause to handle those negatives. So what I'm going to do is close this, and I'm going to go ahead and put an S on all of these. Compile it again. Remember, every time you make a change, you do need to compile it again for the changes to take effect. Let's run that same intermediate code, and now we see positive, negative, positive. Something happens though here on the third one, the division, the results of division. We see zeros, but we know that 5 divided by 15 is a number, it's just not a whole number. We're just not keeping track of the decimal places. So also here in the data division, we need to tell the COBOL program that we do want to keep track of decimal places. And let's say we want to keep the track of two decimal places. So right here, we're going to do V92. So the V means, or stands for implied decimal, and the number of nines after the two stand for the number of decimal places that we want to keep track of. So if we recompile this again, compile with zero errors, meaning that the intermediate file is, is created. Go back and run it. Now we can see that we do in fact see the results of 3, 3. 5 divided by 15 is 0.3 taken out to infinity. 
but we have no clue just looking at this output where that decimal actually resides. In order to show that decimal we must move the results to a numeric edited field so we can replace the implied decimal that is that is in the program that we're telling it uh, with that actual physical decimal. So let's close the output and let's do NE results. NE of course standing for numeric edited. There's the decimal right there. Now before we display the results we need to move the, res the value of results to NE results each time we do a calculation before the display and we need to change the value that we show out here in the display to actually the NA results. And Now when we compile it and run it and I see we have errors. Here's a simple error that I have right here. I did not have a space after that uh, quotation mark and I have a space right here. Remember if it's not exactly the way it is stated in the data division um, to the T it will give you a compile time error just as it did there. Now I have zero compilation errors. I'm going to run it. And now we should see the physical actual decimal in the output and we do. So we see that is 0 0.33. We see that is 10.00 and 20.00. Now how do we get rid of these leading zeros? The leading zero on 20, the leading zero on 10, and maybe the leading two or three zeros from the results of the division. Well, how we do that, we go back to the numeric edited field that we're moving the value of results to and replacing at least two of those nines with z's. A z, again, will take the place of a single leading zero if it exists if that zero does not exist as a leading zero, it's something other than that, one through nine, it will just show the number. So, compile that, no errors, run it, and we should see the same output, but two of the leading zeros are going to be suppressed with a blank space. So we see this zero that was before 20 is now blank, blank here, and then two blanks. I wanted to show this single zero um, and that's done with this 9. It shows a number what it is, even if it is 0. Because if it's a decimal, I still like to see 0 um, on the first digit. So, the only thing we're missing here now is we've kept sign on the number 1, number 2 and results, but for any results, we don't know the particular sign. So, we can go back to the pick clause and we can either have a negative sign here or we can have a negative sign here but I like to show it in front so now when we compile this run it we should see something that looks pretty accurate so we have 20 negative 10 and 0.33 and so that briefly covers some of the errors that you will come across especially if you're a beginner COBOL programmer with the pick clauses and ways to handle it thank you